My lord, Moff Ilian Regus. I'm recruiting the Empire's finest for the final push in the war. Operation Dark Ice. Your reputation precedes you. Do we have your support? What is Operation Dark Ice? I'm sending the coordinates for the planet Ilum. It used to be a frozen wasteland only a few Jedi bothered with. But a few weeks ago, Imperial scientists discovered a way to turn Adegan lightsaber crystals into the most significant breakthrough in military technology since the hyperdrive. Let me guess. These Adegan lightsaber crystals can only be found on Ilum. Ilum is the biggest supply, and our scientists have had more success with Ilum's crystals than any other kind. The Empire won on Corellia, but it was costly. We're outnumbered. We need the technological edge. We need Ilum's crystals. But as usual, the Republic's intent on interfering. How is the Republic interfering? Do you have a plan for stopping them? I have a few ideas, but I want your input. Ilum's a nasty place. Cold as hoth, covered in ice and mountainous terrain. Makes moving large armies impossible. I hope to see you soon. I see three flaws, Major. You split your forces, you're vulnerable in the air, and you take our enemy for idiots. You think that Jedi isn't expecting this? Out! Yes, sir. My lord, thank you for coming. If it weren't for the Sith, the Empire would collapse all around us. Thank you, Moff Regis. I am honored. It's my honor. If there were more Sith, the Empire would be in better shape. Adegan Crystals. Imperial scientists can now transform these glitzy bits of rock into the most powerful stealth technology in the galaxy. We want every ship in the Imperial Armada fitted with this tech. An unstoppable stealth armada. You weren't lying when you said it was the best invention since the hyperdrive. To succeed, we need two things. To control Ilum's crystal supply, and to bring our fleet safely to Ilum for modification. Ilum's no place for a war. Narrow passages, sharp jutting rocks, and the coldest wind you ever felt. But that Republic Admiral wants a war. He sent Jedi Master Jerick Caden to lead the Republic's elite alien armies on the ground. Caden's pinned us in. If they want a war, we'll give it to them. How do you plan to counter Master Caden? I plan to kill him. The Jedi think of Ilum as their planet. Only two of them were here when we arrived, but they have ruins scattered around the place. The ruins housing Master Caden's base are too small for anything but a strike team, and they're surrounded by cliffs full of Duras shock troopers. Then have your soldiers stand aside and let a professional take care of this? Our only chance is to lure the Duras shock troopers into the open, where they're vulnerable. I've established fake supply depots between here and the ruins. Master Caden is over-aggressive. He's already mobilized the shock troopers to capture the depots, clean out the duros at the supply depots, and then assault the ruins base. Is there trouble, Master Caden? No, Admiral. My guests have simply arrived sooner than expected. Rest assured this war can only end one way. Have you ever considered coming over to the dark side? Many times. But only in the hopes of destroying every Sith in existence. You are on Jedi land, and I'm only going to ask once for you to leave. This place seems badly kept for such vital land. Maybe a thousand years ago it belonged to the Jedi, but right now it's up for grabs. I would expect you of all people to understand the significance of this place. The crystals your empire hopes to turn into a weapon of mass murder are visible signs of an invisible truth. The Force. 
A Jedi does not kill until forced. I would sooner kill every Imperial on Ilum than allow these crystals to be desecrated. Those crystals are no more sacred than my ear. I almost feel sorry for you. Troopers, join me for the Republic. This is a military matter, Malgus. You appeal to the Dark Council for help. Here I am. Master Caden is dead. See, Malgus, we have everything under control. Members of the Dark Council are not convinced. Darth Malgus, I'll just be observing for the time being. Observing, hmm? Before his death, Master Caden ordered an army of Kalish mercenaries to take our only functioning crystal mine. We need the crystals. We need that mine. I want the Republic's Kalish army destroyed. Show the galaxy the price of allying with the Republic. What do you want me to do? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The victory on Corellia cost us nearly a tenth of our forces. That's hardly a rate of attrition we can support, is it? Does this have something to do with the mission, Malgus? The Kalish are warlike, ritualistic people. In my brief time on Kali, I observed the ritual by which they chose their war leader. Challenge their general. Win their respect, and they will defend that mine to the death. For the Empire. Aliens! You want us to recruit aliens? It sounds like we could use some allies. I'm in charge of this operation, not Malgus. The mine is at the end of a crystal cave, with several Republic outposts guarding it. Sure, challenge the Kalish general, then bring me his head. Consider it done. We must put the Empire first. If we don't bolster our forces, there will be no future for the Empire. Go to the mine, gather the weapons of the Kalish warriors, and plant them in the ice to initiate the right of challenge. Leader Gelrix, who challenges me? I am Sith, a lord of the Dark Council. Your titles mean nothing to me. What do you want with the people of Kali? You are enemies of the Empire. You must die. Then you issue a false challenge. Warriors, to arms! Are you deliberately trying to provoke me? I'm doing what I was sent to do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other matters to attend to. At least some people around here still have sense. Good work at the mine. I've never liked negotiating. The mine's been reclaimed. We can resume our crystal operations. Our best recon teams are scouting the Republic base for an attack. But in the meantime, we need to prepare for the arrival of the prototype fleet. What's the reason for bringing the fleet to Ilum? Can't the stealth technology be transported? We need the fleet in place on the surface. Everything we need to build the stealth armada is on that fleet. But the Republic's anti-aircraft artillery installation controls the skies. Anything that flies too low gets shot down. The Republic's artillery base is protected by a ray shield and the Republic's best alien forces. Delta Squad will disable the ray shield while you storm the base and destroy the guns. Who are Delta Squad, and why haven't I heard of them? Their exploits were usually of the Black Ops variety. If you'd heard of them, they wouldn't be half as good. Get into position at the comm relay just outside the artillery base. Contact Delta Squad when you're ready, and they'll bring the ray shield down. After that, it's up to you. Destroy those guns and get out of there. Alive. Cut off! It was a trap! The Republic were waiting for us at the shield generators. We're under heavy fire. I don't know how long we can... Did you hear that? Somebody's played us for fools. The Republic artillery base is protected by a huge ray shield. We can't destroy the anti-air guns until that ray shield is down. Looks like you have a new mission. Destroy the shield generators, and then attack the Republic artillery base and take out the guns. Shield generators, then guns. Got it. Good. 
We can't do anything with that ray shield up. Contact me at the Republic base once both the shield generators and the guns are destroyed. My men will move in and clean up. The guns are destroyed. We're slicing the Republic's computers now. Let's see what they're doing out there in the cold. Ah, Master Caden's killer. He was a good man, and will be sorely missed. But killing one great man is never enough. The Republic has always thrived on the effort of its united citizens. Lieutenant, input the coordinates of the Imperial base into the ELX-25 and fire when ready. Give my regards to Moff Regis. Blast! The ELX-25 was only supposed to be in planning stages. If it's operational, it could obliterate our base with a single shot. Wait. What's the ELX-25? An experimental long-range cannon. Supposedly years from completion. But the Republic must have built a prototype. Sounds like we're the test. We have to improvise. Based on estimates of the ELX-25's range, and the origin of the Admiral's transmission, it should be at these coordinates. We have limited time, and you're closest. Destroy that weapon. That sounds an awful lot like an order. I'm sorry, I don't have time for formalities. We have to stop the Republic attack. Destroy the ELX-25, or we'll have no choice but to retreat from Ilum. How did the Republic learn of our plans? All the more reason the Empire needs to reimagine itself for the changing times. Once we build a stealth armada, we won't need change. I wonder how long the Empire can survive on outdated traditions. It has more than survived these thousand years. It has flourished. Morph Regus is a creature of habit, I'm afraid. The Republic's base is built into a cliffside. The main fleet is going to batter the exposed side to oblivion. The objective is to claim the Republic crystal supplies, kill Admiral Shai, and open the docking bay door so Imperial forces can clean up. You'll be entering through this tunnel and hitting deep within the mountain, where the fleet can't reach. And while you and the main fleet give the Republic a beating, I'll prep the crystal fleet for the transfer of the Republic's crystals. A two-pronged attack. Are you on board? I came to Ilum to win this war. I'm not going to quit now. If you're ready, Darth Malgus. The Dark Council has placed me at your command. Then let's start the attack. Good luck. I hope you understand the futility of all of this. You claim the crystals for the Empire. They build their armada. We will find a way to detect it, to destroy it. And then, the Empire will build something bigger and better, on and on and on, until we destroy each other or the galaxy. I think the Empire will win long before it comes to that. The Republic will never stop opposing you. Failing to understand that will be your downfall. <laughs> I suppose you think that if you just kill me, this will all be over. What did I tell you about destroying great men? The Empire will fail because it insists on being a set of individuals rather than a true citizenship. Because it insists on pushing everyone else to the margins. We pull the weak up and become stronger as a result. Looks like it's your turn to die now. I don't care what you have to do, Major. Find Malgus and find that fleet. How can you lose an entire fleet? 
Darth Malgus betrayed us. He's taken the Crystal Fleet. The Emperor knows where. Grand Moff, it's Malgus on the Holonet. This better be good. Fellow Sith, citizens of the Empire, too long the strength of the Empire has been beholden to the infighting of the Dark Council and the disappearance of an apathetic Emperor. Sith, children of Sith and warriors everywhere, I declare a new Empire. Open to all who long for conquest, freedom from inhibition, and the right to follow their passions. What does he think he's doing? The Dark Council is dissolved. Those who would join Darth Seravin in supporting me, cast aside your titles, and let me lead you to victory. Those who will not, prepare to face our stealth armada. The Emperor is gone. His station and power are mine. We will conquer the galaxy while the Emperor sleeps. What happened to the Emperor? The Jedi staged a massive assault and the Emperor went silent. That is all I know. If Malgus is able to construct the Stealth Armada, he'll be unstoppable. I know I've asked too much of you already, but this new Empire can't succeed. I need your help to stop Darth Malgus. I didn't work my way up to the Dark Council just to have this fool pull the rug out from under me. It's an insult to the Sith. To the Empire. I will convene an emergency war council. Take this time to prepare for battle, then meet me in my bunker. Darth Malgus will not survive this day. I'll be there in but a moment. Should have murdered the traitor when we had the chance. Ah, my lord. You've worked alongside Malgus the Betrayer. Did you sense any signs of weakness? Malgus is blind to the realities of the galaxy. When we smother his ideals, his new empire will crumble. You're right, my lord. I wasted years serving Malgus. He even asked me to join his treason. Of course I refused, but I should have spit in his face. A true Imperial would have slain the traitor where he stood. Regardless, the treacherous dog has stolen our Emperor's cloaked space station and fled into open space. Grand Moth, Darth Malgus' forces are invading the planet. His ships came out of nowhere and troops are flooding out. Alert the army. Call for reinforcements. That gutless scum won't embarrass the Empire again. I will destroy the enemies of the Empire. We can turn this in our favor. A command fighter from Malgus's invading fleet should have his station's coordinates on its nav computer. Finally, the traitor slips up. Steal one of his ships, and you can fly it straight back to Malgus's hidden space station. Find me a pilot, and I'll secure that ship. I would be proud to fly you into battle against the Betrayer. I hope you're ready to teach Darth Malgus a lesson. Punishing the traitor will be my extreme pleasure. Then it's settled. General Hesker will help you seize the stealth fighter and fly you to Malgus's station. I will prepare my ship at once. Hesker will drop you on the front lines. You must tear through the betrayer's army to steal a ship from Malgus's fort. Lead the Empire's defense, my lord. And if you find the leader of this invasion, destroy him. The Empire is a symbol of strength, respect, and purity. Darth Malgus mustn't corrupt that. Give the word, and we'll rain fire on the traitor's invading army. There are only two ways back here. Stealth fighter or body bag. A general of the Imperial Guard does not flinch from a challenge. Once we're over the battlefield, I'll drop you in the trenches. After that, I will provide air support. Now, to battle. Malgus the Betrayer will fear the Empire again. saw your arrival, my lord. Welcome.
Ilum is stained with Imperial blood. As we speak, your army falls to the superior strength of Malgus's force. I'm afraid I was forced to swat down your attack, Squadron. Troublesome brats had the gall to bomb my base. I hope they weren't friends of yours. General Hesker was an expert pilot. There's no way you took him down. I assure you, the flaming wreckage from his ship lies mangled at the bottom of a ravine. She seeks your stealth fighter. Thank you, my dear. Talsako is a Voss mystic. Soon she will experience a vision of Voss prosperity under Emperor Malgus. Then all Voss will join us. The cowardly Sith will pay for assuming that title. Only one vision is certain. You fought. I watched and bowed to the victor. In that case, I will fulfill your vision for the glory of the new Empire. Darth Serebin was a false friend. Now he is gone. I wish it had been you. This is Hesker. Repeat, this is General Hesker. Do you read me? There was no way Serebin could destroy the Imperial Guard's best pilot. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Inform the Grand Moff that Darth Serebin is dead, and his stealth ship now belongs to the Empire. Excellent. Imperial forces are busy securing the fort. And we found survivors. Shall I dispose of them? Spare us, and my people join the Empire. Leave no survivors, Hesker. Anyone who supports Malgus must die for their treason. I'm afraid that includes you. No! <laughs> <laughs> Just end for the traitors. Grand Moff Regus already plots our next assault. Secure the stealth fighter, and prepare to slay the false emperor. Welcome back, my lord. General Hesker spoke highly of your performance. The traitor Seravin deserved his death. The Voss made him weak. Thanks to you, we've secured his stealth fighter, complete with coordinates to Margus's cloaked station. General Hesker is prepping it for your final assault. Seravin shot the general down. Will he be cleared for pilot duty? Hesker's bruised but unshakable. There's no keeping him from this fight. But you mustn't leave just yet. Moments after Darth Seravin's defeat, we received this message from the betrayer. Congratulations, Regus. Your servant has won Ilum, but victory still eludes you. I have harnessed the Foundry's power. Once its droids assemble my stealth armada, I will crush what remains of your empire with one blow. What is the Foundry? An alien space station built to construct technology on a mass scale. We must escalate our attack plans. The stealth ship you seized is ready. We fitted it with a homing beacon. Our fleet will track your vessel as General Hesker flies you to the Betrayer station. Once you're safely inside, we will attack. Darth Thanaton was a precursor to this moment, my lord. Crush the false emperor, and his revolution will crumble. It's a relief to see you again, my lord. I took the stealth fighter for a test flight, performed a full systems test. We can leave for Malgus's station on your mark. Are those injuries going to interfere with your job? I've cleared a medical examination. Nothing short of death would keep me from aiding the betrayer's fall. Now steal yourself. Time we destroy a false emperor. Disintegrated. The Sism Collective has crafted this battle station into the galaxy's greatest technological marvel. Not even your entire fleet can take us down. Turn off the station's weapons. Now. Interjection. 
silence me, Bags. Do not move, Sith. Your force cannot corrupt my targeting data. The first shot will immobilize you. The second will spill your slippery components onto the floor. Stand down, or I'll be forced to disassemble you. Statement. I am HK-47, personal exterminator to Emperor Malgus. Backing down from violence would violate my programming. Weapons activated. Assassination protocol engaged. I have been looking forward to this. Guards! Reinforcements! Somebody help! Oh. Please, those things I said and HK was all a misunderstanding. Just let me live. You're an ally to Malgus the Betrayer, and a traitor to the Empire. She's coming for you, Emperor Malgus. She's... Thank you for the warning, Arcus Wode. Don't keep me waiting, Sith. We meet again, Darth Nox. Welcome to my throne room. So much history. So many glory days that slipped away from us. The Emperor is dead. Long live the new Emperor. You've defiled that throne long enough. You will address the Emperor with respect. It is proper. <laughs> the Empire is withering away. Soon it will be obliterated by decadence and antiquated ideals. Yet still you struggle to keep it from healing, don't you see? Our survival demands a new empire, tempered by alien alliances and strengthened by tolerance. I've seen the empire's weakness. We must change to survive, but you're going about it the wrong way. You know the Dark Council would never willingly relinquish their power. Emergency warning. Power core override engaged. Self-destruct initiated. Isn't that a little excessive? The loss of this battle station is insignificant if it sees the Empire's change. The blast will wipe out your fleet, and only I can deactivate the destruction cycle. Die, or defeat me. Either way, the Empire is reborn. My lord, we are honored. How fitting that a fellow Dark Council member crushed the traitor. Malgus the Betrayer is dead. You have destroyed the False Emperor. Not even Darth Malgus could weaken our grip on the galaxy. Hear, hear. General Hesker. Your service to the Empire is flawless, as always. What news from the battlefield? Our fleet suffered casualties, but the survivors escaped the station's blast. The Reclamation Service already scars the wreckage. Excellent. Contrary to Malgus's claims, the Empire is stronger than ever. Meanwhile, the traitor's flock is abandoning the flaming ruins of his heretical revolution. What's the next move? We were in a grave place. Intelligence disbanded. Much of the Dark Council slain, and the children of the Emperor defeated. But a new age is upon us. Already our strength rallies after the fall of Darth Malgus. The Empire's power is surging, my lord. For the Sith, and all our citizens, we will rule the galaxy once more. <laughs>